All right, hey there, Proxy. This is Proxy right here. Guys, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys didn't miss out in the last episode, we basically went and headed on into here into the giant chasm. Well, actually, the back part of the giant chasm in here. And we uh, went and battled out the White Kyrim and also went and battled out Getsus as well. And as you guys can probably tell from all of this, uh, there is Getsus' staff because we've already taken him on. So he's basically finished. So all that is left is basically his staff here just sitting on the ground. Uh, which we can't normally do anything. I think we could interact with it, but it says that the cage guesses was holding uh, Was he controlling Kyra with it? Maybe we don't really know but I uh, hope you guys are having yourself a good Wednesday You guys should be seeing uh, a brand new project for the channel which that is gonna be Metroid Fusion uh, Which that is actually gonna be a blind playthrough. I've never actually really uh, well, well, yeah, I've actually never really uh, played that game before but I actually do knew uh, I actually do know uh, do uh, I actually do know okay there we go uh about uh the the controls of the actual game itself because i have played a uh, metroid zero mission so it's not really all that too new to me uh with the controls but uh but but the story and, and everything else about the game is all new to me so i'm really excited about uh going through that and um it's been uh it's been pretty fun so far so hope you guys go and check out episode one uh and if you guys do enjoy that uh please uh go and see the next episode which i will probably uh, be sending out uh, to you guys away um, I want to say it, it will be, um, I don't think it will be uh, Thursday or Friday, uh, but it will be on probably on Saturday, so stay tuned for that because I know that we're going to be doing some back-to-back -back episodes of Majora's Mask because that's what I'm going to be doing from now on uh, with uh, with the Majora's Mask series is I'm going to be doing two episodes uh, so that we can just uh, get Majora's Mask a little bit faster and, and try to complete it out uh, uh, just so that I can be able to head on into our next other series, which that may probably be Final Fantasy X, so that will be pretty cool. So I guess we could go and talk to Phantom here before we actually do a, uh, a team recap. So you do remember where we first met up over at Jack Hazard, who followed the path from there and goes on to Route uh, 23, so Victory Road, and, and the Pokemon League is just past there. So it looks like that is where we have to go and head on over to is Route 23. So uh, let's actually go and do a little bit of some team recap here. So we got ourselves Lucario, level 57 with Zed Headbutt, Drake Claw, Thunderbolt, and Fusion Bolt. We also have Leo, level 47 with Surf, Sludge, Bolt, Stunts, Bar, Fly. We also have Flare, level 53 with Lava Poof, Fire, Blast, Smog, and Bite. We also have Shastu, level 47 with Upward Cut, and Stars, and Psy Shock. We also have Zorak at level 53 with Foul Play, Punishment, Strength, and Torment. And unfortunately, Dernabir is down and out, but I will be putting a new Pokemon on our team, so that will be happening in just a little bit. I may probably do that once we start heading on over to the actual elite four i don't think i'm gonna break him out now or i think what i may probably do is that i may probably put our new pokemon on the team uh, once we actually uh i think head to victory road because i believe that actually turns into like an actual area that we can fly back onto if i remember correctly just like kind of like in a pokemon black and white where you're able just to fly right on over to victory road uh just so that um just so that it will become like an actual uh, check marker for there which that'll be pretty nice. So let's just go and head on out from this way. Now I'm pretty certain I think the plasma ship is now officially gone, so it seems like we should be able right here for the time being. Yep, and there's no more ice around here, so it's just only just some trees blocking our direction. So um it looks like we get head up this way, but I don't know how I'm gonna be able to grab that Pokeball though. Let me just check this out here. Maybe there's a way that I can try and grab it. Wow, look at all this, like, normally this would be all covered in snow, but here it's just all in sand, which that's just crazy. Now I think we may probably have to head up this way, it looks like. Can I head from this side? Aha, awesome. We got ourselves a power weight, okay, well that's pretty cool. Don't really know what that is all about. I know that, that we got ourselves a power anklet before and a power bracelet, but a power weight seems, uh, maybe... Kind of like the same as that thing, but it's just a little bit kind of different. Oh, here we go. We got some of the sages out here. So, oh, you're safe. I'm so glad. So, as for Tina Plasma's ship, a man in a white lab coat appeared. He said that a trainer had given him the answer that he's been seeking. And uh, thanks, uh, and as a thanks, he would disband Team Plasma. And then he said farewell, walked uh, uh, just a path with the Pokemon, and he flew the ship away. So, everything has been resolved. And, we, and uh, we were even able to confirm that Lord N is also safe. So, that's pretty nice. And you guys probably know exactly where uh, Chorus is going to be uh, heading on over to, which that, of course, is going to be uh, over at Alola, because we will be seeing him. Uh, a little bit later on in our next uh, series, which is going to be Pokemon Nightmare Moon. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Can't wait until we do that. Now, I think I can just probably just head down from here, can I? 
Really? How am I going to be able to pick up this Pokeball now? Hmm, there's like no way that I can pick that up. Unless if this tree can like... Uh, mm, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, here we go. This must be the path for it. And it's alright because we already got ourselves our counter already. Oh man, a Relicant. Wow, so far we actually found both a Relicant and a Whale Bird. Now, I'm pretty sure I don't think we really do need those uh, for the uh, for the Regigigas uh, static Pokemon because I believe uh, you actually do need uh, the Regi Ice, Regi Steel, and Regi Rock from the Generation 4 uh, actual games. And then you have to bring them over uh, here to this game to actually uh, make sure to go and collect uh, Regigigas. Because that's what they kind of did in Generation 4 as well, is that they actually uh, had to make you literally... Ooh, wow, TF50 Overheat, thank you for that. Yeah, because they did that in Generation 3 as well, because you actually had to bring like, all those uh, Regis to uh, to the actual... I think what was it? I think it's called like the Pal Park or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, because it's been a while since I've seen them. Since I've been down to that one route that's at like the very far bottom of like Sandrum Town because like not a whole lot of people normally go there and that's only if you want to like bring your Pokemon uh, and, and like immigrate or, or, or not immigrate, uh, I guess migrate them over to the um, uh, to the actual uh, Generation 4 game. Like I remember doing that with some of my Generation 3 Pokemon before. I remember I used to do that with my, uh, with my shiny blue uh, uh, Mew that I had back in the day. When I did that, uh, when I did that little event code, uh, to actually get like that uh, old C map or whatever I think that's what it was called for for the Mew event. And uh, back in the day, I used to have like this uh, shiny cheat that made all my Pokemon shiny. So like the static Pokemon that I, that I got was a shiny Mew, of course, which I thought that was really cool. And then I actually have it on my Generation Four uh, uh, Pokemon team. Which I haven't really brought on over to uh, Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon yet, but that should be something that I would like to do in the future. Uh, well, I guess we better just fly on out of here, because like, I am going to get lost if I try to do anything. So, so Route 23, huh? Well, we're here at the Giant Chasm, so you know what? Let's actually fly back to Lacanosa Town. Or, or, or not Lacanosa, I mean Himalau. Ugh. So we'll do this, we'll head back to Himalau, and I guess what we'll do is, is, um, I guess, um, while we're here, we'll kind of bring out our new Pokemon then. And I think we also have enough Max Repels, but I would like to buy a little bit more, just so that I could be a little bit safe, because you never know. So let us grab, uh, I think Alter Balls were fine, because we don't really need to worry about all that too much, but ooh! Wow, okay, so full restores. That's actually pretty nice. I may probably want to grab like at least like maybe 10 of these or so. Okay, maybe 11. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty nice. By the way, we're still at like 91,000. We can still like grab like a more like hyper potions and whatnot, but I think we're okay for right now. But the mash repels I do need. Because if we have to continue throughout the giant chasm, then uh, I want to get prepared a little bit. Okay, so we're good with that now, so let's go and head on over to our PC box, which I haven't really done at all for, like, quite a while. <laughs> and also, too, I have to make sure not to go and talk to that freaking metal guy, or else he's going to be giving me, like, way too many freaking medals so far. I think I did that before, I think, a long time ago when I first played uh, Pokemon Black, or Black and White 2, is that I actually de accidentally went and talked to that guy, like, like at the very end. And like he just gave me uh, like a whole bunch of medals. I just wanted to just go and head right on over to the. Uh... Oh what? Why are you guys all inside the dead box? You guys are not dead. I guess that was just the one main area that it decided to go to. Hey, yeah, you guys are not dead at all. What the heck? Hold on. Let me bring you over here as well. And pair. Which I think we're all right. I don't know. Should I bring pair? Because we don't really have a grass type Pokemon yet. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I kind of iffy on between grabbing Weeping Bell or grabbing uh, Swab Blue. Because if we have an Altaria, that would be pretty nice. Because that, because then that means we actually have two Dragon. Uh, uh, yeah, 
we'll have like two dragon type Pokemon. Um, I think you know what? Let me just uh, bring out Weep and Bell out here instead. I think that should be fine. Grass and Poison. Oh, but we also have uh, Nestle as well too, because then I could actually have a Shiftry. Because does a Shiftry become like a Grass and Dark type at the very end of everything? But I do need a Leaf Stone for that, and like both of these guys need Leaf Stones. Hmm. Okay. Now that's gonna be a little bit annoying. What am I gonna do? I don't really have anything to choose from. Uh, I think... You know what, let's just go for CDOT. Because, like, the good thing is is that we can get ourselves a, um, a Nuzleaf, like, once we actually get it evolved, so we should be alright. Now, Dernivir does have the Power Lens, so let me go and take that off. Now, I think the Paralyst said that it was good for, like, helping out with special attacks, so I think that would be pretty nice for, uh, for CDOT to hold on to. Let's go and head here. Item. Let's give it to you. Oh, I think it says speed. Or, or, no, I think it said reduce speed. So, yeah, I think that's the one that helps out with the special attack. Alright, I'm done. I don't want to be in the Pokemon Center anymore. So I guess that's going to be our new uh, member on the team for the time being, is that we're going to have Seedot. Unfortunately, we don't really have another um, another Pokemon to encounter yet, because we haven't really been to Victory Road, so we kind of just have to hold out on that for a little bit. Same with Route 23 as well. Oh, there's actually a Pokeball down here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let me see, is this going to be the EXP share that I can try and grab? Maybe? Oh, it's a blue flute. Alright. I don't think we found any of the flutes yet, but that's pretty nice. At least we got one of those. Can't really remember what the blue flute does. I think, like, the black flute or the white flute or something, like, uh, helps you out with, like, confusion or sleep or something like that. Those are, like, the only things that I know about what the flutes do. Okay, so let's just head up from here, and I believe... Oh, wait, hold on. They got to go down a little bit. Yeah, here we go. This is the route, I think. Ah, no. One more. Ah, uh, this is so annoying. I wish we'd just be able to just surf right over there to that area without even having to take all those annoying bridge platforms. But what can you do? Now, hopefully, uh, I don't think I, 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 I don't think I have to really go out and battle out that breeder, so I've already taken care of, like, most of these trainers here from before, so we're all good. Not to worry at all. But I may probably get bombarded by a Pokemon out here, though. Of course. They will get me off away that scot free. Oh, wow, a Rapidash. But that's okay, we already have, uh, well, what's it, we already have, uh, is it called Pig Knight? Yeah. We already have Pig Knight, because it's not an Emboar yet. But it is pretty nice that we do have a backup Pokemon, so... So if Flare ever decided to go down, uh, Pig Knight will be our backup dude out here for a while. But hopefully that doesn't ever happen. Because Flare is actually pretty nice, because I kind of really do enjoy the moves that Flare already has, and we also do have the Flame Plate, which that's also pretty nice for Flare. Oh, wow! We actually found a Meg Mortar. That's like my soon-to-be mascot for the channel, though. Fun fact. But I still have to try and make, like, a channel logo for, 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 for that Meg Mortar, though. But let's just head on back here to the Giant Chasm. Oh, finally. Now we're in somewhere where this area doesn't have to lag that too much in here. Uh, do do do, do. Where is the max repels? Alright, here we go. Wow, we actually have like 27 of these. I think we're perfectly set with max repels. We don't even have to worry about anything else anymore. <laughs> now, I know that Zork still has the strength, so we are already okay with that. So let's just head on down here and let's see if we can find an exit point out of this area. 
Now, it could probably be down here. This may probably be Route 23. Uh, no, this seems a little bit different. This seems like we're back over at, like, uh, Opelousa or something. Where the heck are we? This seems like a new area. Oh, it's like we're sitting on top of, like, uh, of, um, of the other route that was, like, down below us. Pretty cool. Let's see, is there anything else that we can explore that's around here? This is Route 13. So it may probably tell me that there may be a straight boulder here. Yeah. Oh, this may probably be the way back to, uh... Back to our hometown, it looks like. Back to Asperta, because if this is Route 13, this should probably take us all the way back. Yeah, I think that actually takes us all the way back here. Let me just check out Leo. No, actually, it takes us right back to, uh, to Lacanosa Town and all that. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, well, we don't really have to worry about all that much. And what about this way, though? It takes us down to a bottom part where there's actually going to be a Pokeball down here. A Pokey toy. Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to be using that unless if there's like an act, like an actual, like annoying legendary Pokemon that we actually do get to, do, uh, yeah, if we ever do get to see one. But I don't think that's ever going to happen yet. Okay, so I guess we'll just head on out of here because there's really nothing else in this area. It's just very short. Uh, so let's just head on through this way here instead. We may probably find out another spot. There's like a lot of Pokeballs, dude, in this in this one little cave. Let me just go pick this guy up. A Rindo Berry. Oh my god. Why do I pick up all these berries that I have no use for them at all whatsoever? I know that I'm a berry collector and I like collecting berries because it's just much simpler that way because you, then you don't have to worry about buying like freaking like like um I guess health potions or whatnot but I don't need them right now All right, what's this a paralyzed heal okay well at least I have that uh, what else is down here that looks like a big long stretch of uh, of a pathway all the way back to the main entrance it looks like so I'm not gonna worry about that I did see that there was a door down here, so this could probably be it. Oh, here we are. So welcome to Route 23. So this is a brand new route. And I believe this is going to take us right on over to the Victory Road. So I think this should also be a... Do you get to rest our Pokemon? Your Pokemon not in perfect condition. Come, don't be so... Don't be so reserved. Take a rest. Hooray! I always like these houses where, like, you kind of, like, kind of, like, head to, like, your little checkpoint area, but just before you head to Victory Road, you always get, like, those healing houses. So, always nice to go and head down there. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. We got a lot of, uh, these karate trainers that we have to fight around. I can try to dodge around you, but I don't think I can. Alright, well, looks like we're gonna get into ourselves into another match. So, your Pokemon must be really something if, if you're here on Route 23. Yep, and also, I need to also find a new Pokemon on my team as well, too. Because we only have, like, only a few more, uh, a few more places left. Oh my goodness, a Sandshrew! Well, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But I don't know, because if I send out Leo, it may probably kill us. Uh, let me just settle with the Dragon Claw. <laughs> Just to get you out of here, man. Hopefully that takes care of the sand true. Nice. Because you are in your preform, so it should make it everything a little bit nicer. And also too, while we're at this, we should probably switch out Pokemon. We need to get Chastu up to try Mecho, man. I don't know why it hasn't been taking that long, though. Okay, here we go. So we'll head up from up here. Oh no, we got a, another ace trainer. 
here we go. What are you gonna have out here? I can't have to tell you of all the times that I have won or lost up until today. So if I battle against you, I wonder uh, which number will be increased. Well, hopefully, hopefully you don't win this one. I don't know if you're gonna have a double uh, or, or a triple battle or what's gonna happen. Okay, so he only has like two Pokemon. Oh, this should be fine. Gulpin is a poison type, so we have Chaz, uh, uh, a Chaz tube for this. So, uh... Let's set up with a Psy Shock. That should do some damage. Not as much damage as Zed Headbutt, but at least it's going to do some sort of damage. Alright, not too bad. Set up for Gastro Acid. Just throwing his own move at me. One more side shock to the face. And that should take care of it. Nice. Big Gulpin is down. Oh, almost halfway. And then we also have Quill Fish, which that is fine by me, because then we can just switch out to Lucario for this one. Now, I really hope that in Generation 4 Remake that uh, Quill Fish actually does get a get an evolution because I know that in the betas uh, of, uh, of generation 2 uh, Quillfish was supposed to be actually getting himself an evolution which it actually looks pretty uh, actually it looks pretty good I have to say but uh, hopefully that hopefully uh, Quillfish can uh, get some love and hopefully get another evolution if the Jeff 4 remakes uh, can't allow to do it nice so there we go my number of the losses went up. <laughs> nice try. No one cannot defeat the powerful of, uh, of Lucario right here. Uh, got a hiker. Watch out! Ah, don't be seeing me, dude. Oh, there's a waterfall now. Unfortunately, I don't think we can really do anything about having a waterfall because. If I remember so, I don't think anybody ever gave us that, that that HM yet. I guess we have to wait a little bit more. Yeah, all we really have right now is just only Surf and Fly and Strength. And I think also Rock Smash as well too, but it's not really like a HM anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, never mind. Seems like we do have to fight you anyways, because it seems like uh, there's like two different pathways. So this is uh, the, the, the class center I perform with my most beloved Pokemon. Okay, let's see what you have. So you got two Pokemon for yourself as well. Oh, Miniana! Oh, Moxie, how I missed you on my Nuzlocks back in my, uh... uh what was it, my Spear Gold? Mudlock, I want to say? Yeah, I think it was for Spear Gold. Because that was awesome, because, uh... Because that Moxie ability was just awesome for that hidden... Uh, for that hidden ability there. Uh, so let's go switch over to Lucario instead. So you don't have Pursuit, so that's fine. It could have been Blaze Black, too. I, I could be wrong, but... I know that I had a Mighty Hand before. Oh, thanks. Thanks for our embargo. I can't use any of my items, but I should be alright for this anyways. Here we go, Dragon Claw. And that should almost do it, I think. I may probably have to use it again. Ooh, scary face. That's fine. And I don't think Zed Headbutt is not gonna work, so we'll set up with another Dragon Claw. And let's light it up. Now, if I don't do a, a video uh, on Christmas Day for you guys, uh, I just want to just uh, want to say uh, to you guys right now is uh, ha have a Merry Christmas and uh, also uh, uh, have a good Christmas Eve as well too. But I think you guys should probably see it a uh, uh, two videos uh, for for both Christmas Eve and also Christmas Day as well. So I think you should be all right. Here we go. One more. Come on, Litwick. Get out of here, dude. 
Nice. Ah, oh, so close. We're almost to almost about to be at uh, level level 58. So which way does this area take us to? Probably to Victory Road, maybe? Or is this going to take us to a whole other different path? Oh, hold on. Let me just dodge around you, which that is a good thing. Ah, uh, here we are. So this must be it. We're finally here at Victory Road, and there is also N. So you want to go and challenge us? Uh, the Pokemon League is just past Victory Road. Pokemon battles do nothing more than hurt Pokemon. That's how I understood it, and that's why I hated battles. But it's not that simple. Pokemon battles decide winners and losers. It's true. And yet they do so much more. Your Pokemon, you, your opponents, and their Pokemon. Everyone can see what wonderful things the others have to contribute. That's right, accepting different ideas, uh, different beings changes the world. And like a chemical reaction, Pokemon battles are like a catalyst, a small component that leads to big changes. So my friend Richard Ram taught me that. And it's, that is a formula I derived from traveling in the world. And I want you to think uh, for yourself about what it means. So what's this? Why are you... You're the Zorak that helped me that time, aren't you? Uh, hey, thanks. Uh, here it is with you. The, the new Victory Road has uh, water, uh, has areas that are only accessible with Waterfall. So there we go. We got, actually got HMO5 Waterfall. So, nice. Uh, yes, if it's uh, your Pokemon and you, then you'll get past the Pokemon League and recognize your own truth. Uh, that's what I see in store for you. Alright. Well, I guess we'll uh, head through these different little scanners to... You guys notified that we actually did get those badges, which I have to say that this is actually really neat. They should have actually added this in the uh, in the original black and white one instead of uh, having to open up all the different doors. I kind of like these little scanner areas. All right, there we go. We actually got the other badge, bolt badge. Almost finished. Got ourselves the quick badge as well too. Yep, and the jet badge. Only two more badges left. Yep, legend badge. And also, we got ourselves the, I think, what's this, the wave badge? And there we go. We are finally now able to head on into the door. Oh, that's so neat. Now it's finally going to get lowered. This is where I'm going to end off the episode once everything is finished here. All there is left is just the door itself. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next one, we will make our way into Victory Road. And uh, I don't know how long Victory Road is going to be. I think it is quite a little bit of a long Victory Road here. So there may probably be two parts for this. And then we'll be uh, hopefully on able to uh, head over to the Elite Four and actually go and take care of them. And then also, too, then we also have the Irish Battle at the very end of everything. So that's going to be pretty nice. So uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, I guess the comment question of the day would probably have to be is uh, what type of champion do you guys like uh, in Unova? Do you guys like... Um, do you guys like Iris or do you guys like Alder? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys then and peace.